so this is my vanity desk makeup collection if you watched my first makeup collection video you can notice that some things are still the same but some things have changed so we're gonna get into detail with that today but so let's go ahead and get started so my desk it is still the same desk from Wayfair I am also going to try to leave links down below to as many of these things as I can um, but yeah my desk is from Wayfair still the same desk from my previous makeup collection video I love this desk it is so easy to clean super easy to build let's start with the decor down here I got this white furry rug from Amazon and it is the most softest comfiest rug ever I love putting my pillows here and then just laying down there doing some editing watching tiktoks watching hulu i love this rug um i think i don't remember the measurements maybe it's three feet by six feet i think and i think it cost me around 35 dollars my little stool here is also from amazon i believe this was about 54 dollars and this is seriously like the most comfortable thing ever i loved my previous little vanity chair that i had it was such a comfy chair that i had gotten from marshall's but i did get a new uh mirror for my desk and it is a little low so with my previous chair i just I could not see myself in the mirror so I did decide to get a new stool and I love it it does also have like a little opening on the bottom that you could zip up that you could zip open zip closed and I actually just store my makeup bags in there I do still have this four drawer organizer from Ross this I believe cost $40 and the majority of my makeup now lives here if you saw my previous makeup collection um you saw that the majority of my makeup was in some organizers from the container store but now i just have this container which i believe i got this from target and then this one on the top is from either tj maxx or marshall's before we get into the actual makeup and all that stuff um i did just want to show you guys these two paintings that i have here my sister painted these this one was a christmas present and then this one was one of my birthday presents i love this one she actually painted my dog and it, it looks just like him so i love these two i do just want to talk about my mirror this mirror i love it so i actually got this mirror from amazon as well i think it's actually the perfect size this vanity mirror can also be mounted onto the wall but i don't feel safe with doing that because the walls here are very thin so i'd rather just have it set up here on my um desk but this does also come with a little mount and what's really cool about this is that you can turn it off turn it on here so you could see that the light that comes from this mirror it's so so good and then you could either adjust it for the light to be warm cool or a mix of both so I usually have it on the one that's like a mix of both and you can also adjust if you want it to be bright or you could go ahead and dim it but I love this mirror I think it was maybe like 120 around there but um yeah just keep an eye out for measurements I know that there were a ton more that were huge they were more money but looking at this now I think that this one was <laughs> meant to be for me because my organizer fits perfectly here as well as this other organizer so i do really like it and the one thing that i love that i absolutely love about this is that it has this little usb charger port here so it's really convenient i just always have my phone charging here um and it's also really convenient for when my phone is dead but I'm getting ready and I want to watch a video or whatever the case is. Really convenient that it has a little charger port here. So I love that. Um, 
but yeah i love this mirror again i'm gonna leave it linked down below in the description box okay so let's go ahead and get into the makeup now this little why is there a hair here what the hell okay so for this little organizer again i'm pretty sure i got this from tj maxx if you are ever looking for affordable um, acrylic organizers i would always recommend to first check at burlington marshall's tj maxx before you go on to Amazon or Target or the container store because at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stores like those, the containers are just super, they're just so much more cheaper than if you were to get them from Amazon or Target or the container store. The container store is expensive. So I'd always recommend to check those stores first. Um, but I've had this, <sighs> how long have I had this for? I I think maybe for almost a year now and it is still in great condition this is actually a separate organizer um and then the one below it um this one i did get from target like years ago for this top part i like to switch out the makeup that i keep in here so i'll switch it out maybe like every two weeks every two three weeks to switch out the products and try to focus more on using these on getting more use out of them and over here in the back i just have some foundations i have here the ColourPop pretty fresh tinted moisturizer i have this foundation from fenty which is actually a recent purchase um, and then i have one of my favorite foundations this is the milani screen queen foundation here in the front um, i've really been into using the anastasia what is this this is the loose setting powder and i have mine in the shade vanilla and then over here in the back we just have some bra products nyx artistry i have some mascaras kkw beauty the ColourPop eyeliner over here i just have my heated eyelash curl which i also got from amazon some of these little hair clips that i just like to put on whenever i'm doing my makeup so that i could keep my hair out of my face and then right here in this section i just have some of my current go-to lip products i have this lip gloss from anastasia uh liquid lipstick in pure hollywood uh color pop lippy pencil color pop lippy stick and then this little liquid lip from artistry and then right next to it i have some primers and a concealer so primer that i'm trying to get more use out of is this one from wet and wild this is a primer serum this is my all-time favorite concealer from Juvia's Place. And then my all-time favorite primer of life, my baby. This is the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer, which I should probably reorder a new one very soon. And then in the first section here, it's really just cheek products. I love cheek products. This is the new cream bronzer from Fenty Beauty. Um, really good product. I've really been enjoying this. And then I have a new blush from ColourPop. This is in the shade Interstellar. And then I have my Fenty Beauty highlighter, which I've been trying to use up, just finish up. I've hit pan on it really well, but this is an amazing highlighter. And then I have this blush stick from ColourPop Milk Makeup. Got a little mini one that I got in my birthday gift from Sephora. Um, and then I just have this little mini hula by Benefit. Then down here, it does have a little drawer. So I do just keep cotton pads here because I do keep most of my skincare um, here on my vanity. So when I go in with my toner or makeup remover, then it's just really convenient because little cotton pads are here already. That is pretty much it for everything that I keep on this top part. Okay, so now for this big organizer here, this is where I keep pretty much all of my artistry makeup i used to have it mixed up with all of my other makeup i do a lot of like tutorials just using um artistry so it would kind of be a little annoying having to having to go through all of my makeup to get the products out so now i do just like to keep it in this one big organizer everything is there and i don't have to be going in through the other drawers and wasting time it does come with four small drawers and then three big drawers so we're going to start with this one here this is just where i have some more skincare products um eye creams this little anti-acne gel treatment and then the one under it i have 
three of their makeup setting spray currently working on those three i love the setting spray i've gone through so many of these and then in this next drawer we just have some eye products mascara um brow product eyeliners eye sticks mascara base primer and then in this next drawer we just have some eyeshadows and in this drawer here um we just have some complexion products i guess you could say i have two of the artistry youth extent foundation um i have the artistry exact fit um 24 hour long wearing foundation which is amazing if you have oily to combination skin um, I also have the Artistry Exact Fit Perfecting Concealer and also the Perfecting, what is this called? Perfecting Primer. This has become my love, my everything. Um, this is from the new Tokyo Collection. This is the Correct and Perfect Face Compact. It comes with two face correctors and a cream foundation. So I love this and I do have mine in the shade Light. Um, the next drawer here this is just like blushes highlighters i have three of this highlighter which is no longer available to purchase this was also limited edition um we have these little cheek and lip duos we have one blush from the new tokyo collection and then here i believe this is from the permanent collection this is technically a blush oh my god i actually got it open with one hand I love to use this as a bronzer, contour, and this is, I believe, in the shade Golden Light. So I love this product. I've gone through so many of these as well. And the last drawer here, um, I have my Artistry Setting Powder in the shade Light. I have all of my on-the-go palettes, which the ones from New York, um, they're no longer available. They are sold out. But the only one that is still available to purchase is this one from the Bangkok Edition collection. I don't know. I didn't really like this one all that much. I do only like the blushes, but the eyeshadows I'm not too crazy about. Midtown Medium, the best on-the-go palette ever. I love it. Especially the blush in here. Oh my god. The best. And I do also have my two eye and lip beauty boxes. I did post a review on this collection, so should pop up somewhere on the screen if you haven't watched it yet um but i do really like the kabuki glam palette that one is so good that is pretty much everything that i have in this organizer here i am still oh also i did forget to mention i don't have any of my lip products here from artistry i do keep those in with my other lipsticks from my other brands so that's why you didn't see any lip products okay and then right here in front of my mirror i just have this little picture of my dog milo <sighs> such a cute puppy um and then in this little organizer i honestly again i don't remember where it's from but you can always find these little lipstick organizers at tj maxx marshall's amazon and i just have my favorite lipsticks here i have some from jeffree star cosmetics i have these little lipsticks from elf i have my artistry lipsticks which the packaging is just beautiful dose of colors ColourPop, kylie cosmetics morphe and then my one mac lipstick right here i just have my brushes setting spray and skincare i have gotten so many dms asking about this organizer this was actually my mom's and i kept it so she didn't want it anymore so i decided to keep it and i'm pretty sure she got this either at burlington or tj maxx in the bathroom decor organization section so um yeah that's where I'm pretty sure she got it from and at first i had my skincare here and then my foundations and setting sprays down here but then um, i decided to just put my brushes on the top and i have a lot of brushes from morphe i have artistry eco tools real techniques um wet and wild but uh, the majority of this is from morphe i have like four sets 
of the Morphe and Jeffree Star collection. Right here, I just have all of my skincare from Artistry. This is the majority of it. Um, I do just keep my cleansers, my face masks all in the bathroom. But here we just have some um, makeup removing wipes. My Essentials by Artistry line is just my favorite. This is what I've been using now. I am going to be posting an updated skincare routine video soon so subscribe so you don't miss out on that um but really been loving these two moisturizers and then over here i just have my hydra view lined as well as my artistry eye and lip makeup remover and i also have a toner from the youth extend collection and a moisturizer from the ideal radiance collection i love the hydra view line for the fall and winter months and then for spring and summer, I do switch over to the Essentials by Artistry because it really helps with just controlling all of that oiliness that I get on my skin. So yeah, updated skincare routine coming soon. I love this organizer because it really just holds so much stuff, but it doesn't really take up a lot of room. I just love that. Everything is just right there in that corner. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for everything that I have here on my desk. And now let's go ahead and get into the okay so now for this section um i do have here my one and only jeffree star pink chrome mirror i don't get why everyone orders literally every single mirror that he comes out with like i i'm happy with just one and these are expensive so i don't i don't know why you guys do that but i do just have one here and then right on top of the organizer i keep my larger eyeshadow palettes that don't fit properly in my other drawers so this little basket is from target um and then over there i have morphe and james charles morphe 35g bronze goals palette um i also have the new jaclyn hill volume 2 palette i have my alien palette which is no longer available to purchase um also, I have the Morphe Edge of Star palette. We got the Jawbreaker palette here. We got Thirsty, which is also no longer available to purchase. Um, and then these are some of my newer palettes. I recently picked up the LA Girl Pro Mastering Eyeshadow palette. So, tutorial on this is coming very soon. And I did also pick up the Warrior 2 by Julius Place. Ulta has been having so many sales, so I did get these on sale. Um, and then I have the Nomad by Julia's Place, which is the perfect fall palette. Like, I need to show you guys this. Beautiful, beautiful palette for fall time. Then right here, I just have my Conspiracy palette from Jeffrey and Shane. And then my Blue Blood palette. So, I love my Conspiracy palette. Even though so many people say that it's ugly. She is beautiful. The only thing I don't like about this palette is that it has so much freaking fallout. Like look at that dirty mirror but she's still pretty either way right here next to this little basket um i keep this little artistry studio tokyo bag which was free when i ordered a ton of stuff from the new collection and i just keep a lot of like eyelash curlers and just random little scissors and things in here so really they're just like random little tools and now to get into the first drawer i actually reorganized everything um so my eyeshadows used to be in the last drawer but now i decided to put them in the first drawer because the palettes are here and then i kind of just wanted it to continue so this is my this is one of my favorite drawers i love eyeshadow palettes you guys have no idea how much well, i don't know if i've mentioned this but these pink organizers are actually from Target. you can get them some of them come in a pack of two and a pack of four for $1.99 so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link down below in the description box they do also come um, in white as well as gray let's go back in here back here I have my Anastasia Riviera palette we got the modern renaissance uh, we got the Jackie Ina palette and the soft glam palette which if I had to pick just one eyeshadow palette out of everything that I have I think I would just pick the soft glam palette like this is my favorite eyeshadow palette it is beautiful it has everything that you need for any type of look and it's amazing worth every single penny and then i just have the morphe and jaclyn hill ring the alarm palette 
Um, I have the KKW Beauty Classic Eyeshadow Palette. Um, also got the Naked Palette from Urban Decay. And then I just have the Naked Honey Palette as well from Urban Decay. This is the Morphe and Manny and Mute Glam Palette. This is also another really affordable palette from Morphe. I believe they have it on sale right now for 10 bucks, which is insane. But yeah, and it does also come with two highlighters. I did do a little look with this palette like months ago when I first got it. So um, that should come up on the screen too if you want to go watch that. Right here, I just have my Dominique Cosmetics Lipstick Glam Palette. I have the Disney Designer Princess Palette, which was my first color pop palette actually. Um, and then I have the Juvia's Nubian 3 Coral Palette. This is a gorgeous palette for spring, summer, fall. I love this. I have the Rendezvous Palette from ColourPop, which was a limited edition. Um, I have the iconic Sweet Talk. We got the Flutter Palette, which this is one of my favorite palettes. It was a limited edition palette, and I think it was exclusive to Ulta, so... They actually launched this palette along with two others in this collection and they sold out so quickly so I'm glad that I was able to get my hands on this one. This has got to be my favorite palette from Colourpop. It is so good. Also a uh, recent purchase. This is the Nudes by Juvia's. Um, I believe this palette is also on sale again at Ulta. Here are my nine pan palettes from Colourpop. I actually finally got it into their monochromatic little palettes um i will always prefer the bigger palettes but these are actually good i love the going coconuts palette um also have the it's my pleasure i also have the new color pop she's got soltis which is a beautiful palette again this is another exclusive to ulta so i have here the new nude mood and blush crush palette which these are also super good i have this little mini palette from urban decay i have the light nude obsessions palette from huda beauty um, i have the mac and aladdin eyeshadow palette and then i have this palette from artistry right here in this little organizer i have some single shadows and then i have four of the elf bite size eyeshadows and the next drawer this is like my next favorite drawer from here and here i just have all of my face products um i have primers powders foundations and concealers back here i just have my primers i have some samples of the milk makeup hydro grip primer which i have been wanting to test it out for the longest time i have really been enjoying the sample so i'm probably going to order the full size soon um but then over here i just have my full size primers the elf poreless putty primer i have the maybelline instant pore eraser smashbox oil and shine control um i also have the catrice goodbye pores primer i have the anastasia eye primer and I like to keep the Milani Make It Last Sentence spray in here because I do like to use it as a primer. So that's everything for my primers. And then next to that, I have my powders. I have the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder. I have this one from Believe Beauty. Um, I have this one from Essence. Also got my Juvia's Place powder and then my Jeffree Star Cosmetics powder in translucent. Over here we just have some foundations. This is one of my favorite foundations. This is from Juvia's Place. Um, this is the I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. I love this thing. I do need to reorder a new one soon. And then I just have this one from Benefit, which I'm trying to finish up. Um, and then I have this one from Believe Beauty, which this foundation is amazing. Works so well, even though it it's only five dollars um and then i have the beauty blender bounce foundation which is also a really good one too here i just have all of my concealers we got some jumper star cosmetics elf color pop tart more color pop we got a Too faced one here makeup revolution um also have the kylie cosmetics one and yeah i love all of these concealers i rotate through all so these. my camera died and i kind of want to go to bed already but um i want to finish filming this so i'm gonna continue filming this from my iphone so we do only have two drawers left but this next drawer um i have a lot of lip products some brow products mascaras and my false lashes here in the front 
I just have some of my Morphe and Jeffree Star mini lip products. Over here we just have some lip scrubs, lip balms, lip treatments. And then here in the middle um, I have just my Artistry lip products. We have some Maybelline, Anastasia, Jeffree Star, Kylie, Live Beauty, Physician's Formula. So I just have a lot of lip glosses. Um, matte lipsticks, tinted lip balms, some lip liners. So right over here in the back, again, false lashes. I love lashes from Kiss. They are so good. They're so easy to apply. And they're also really comfortable to wear throughout the day. Here, I just have some brow products that I'm trying to finish up. As well as some mascaras. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it for this drawer. In this last drawer, um, I just have some cheek palettes, cheek products, and some sponges. So again, the organizers are from Target. So back here, I just have some cheek palettes. Um, this is a Physician's Formula and Wiley palette. I love this palette. It comes with two highlighters, two blushes, and two bronzers. This is a limited edition palette, but it is still available to purchase at Target. Um, and then I just have my Jeffree Star Brain Freeze palette. So if you've been wanting to try his highlighters, but you don't want to spend 32 bucks on just one, I would highly recommend getting this palette because you get six highlighters, so many different shades, beautiful shades, honestly. Um, and this palette only costs 40 so I would highly recommend getting this instead of just one. I have this little Tarte Tartiest palette um i have my cover effects palette this little bh cosmetics blush palette which i've really been enjoying this is also another recent purchase um and then over here i just have some cream products um i have this highlighter from artistry which you guys know i hate for the face but on the body it looks really pretty and then i just have this liquid highlighter from makeup obsession and i just have this um, highlighter from ColourPop as well as blush here and then right here I just have this little highlighter duo from uh, Wet n Wild I have a Kylie bronzer and highlighter I have this highlighter from Julia's Place which is one of my favorites um, I have this from Pixie more Wet n Wild here um, and then oh my goodness what is going on over here I have this MAC and Aladdin little bronzer have this bronzer and blush from e.l.f. Some Makeup Obsession, Pixie Highlighter, this is the Milani Luminoso blush, and then I have some blushes from Wet n Wild, and more blushes from Essence. In the last container here, I just have my sponges. Um, I have this brush from Becca. I have this little puff thingy from Artistry, which I need to wash. Um, I have the e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. I have this sponge from Beauty Blender, and then I have this sponge as well from e.l.f. This is the Beauty Blender Besties. It comes with the original Beauty Blender. It comes in this little cute bag, and then you also get the solid cleanser. So I did get this from Sephora, and I'm just glad that I have my Beauty Blender sponge again because this is seriously the best sponge ever. That is pretty much it for all of the products that i have here in my last drawer so that is pretty much it for my makeup collection i hope that you guys enjoyed this video don't mind my mess over there don't mind that please um but yeah i hope that you guys enjoy this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye